Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101. As you know, I've been experimenting with a lot of new axes and hawks and hatchets and all that stuff. Uh, this is another one that I've got, and this is one of the ones I've been most anxious to try. This is going to be the first weekend where I actually try and use this one since I got it back, and this is the Cold Steel Trail Boss. Now, I haven't seen a whole lot on this, even though this has been out for a long time. Uh, I mean, there's been some general reviews of it and all that, but nothing that really gave me a good feel for it. I overlooked this axe a lot because when you look at it in the catalog, you just can't get a feel for how big it is, and it it, it looks like a normal axe. But once I took a chance on it, and once I got it, I was extremely happy when I got it out of the box and just felt the weight of it. It's not heavy. It feels like it's got just enough weight to do good work. Uh, it's easily sharpened. I think this is, Cold Steel lists it as a European style head, which makes no sense to me. I think this is kind of close to a Greenland pattern when, I, when I've compared it to other axes on the web. But as far as something that you wouldn't mind strapping to a pack and taking into the woods with you, this is the first one that I've seen outside of Will's uh, Wetterlings, which is about 120 bucks, that I actually like. So, and this one's going to run you around $35 uh, to $39 on average. So it's a really good value. It's got a hickory handle. Not sure of the steel. We can look that up. But uh, it's razor sharp right now. So we're going to take this thing around and do some uh, test wax with it and use it you know, throughout the day as we're out here doing some field tests. You want to give a first impression on this? Just how it feels? Sure. Here's Will. He's my expert. Expert in what, brother? Well, it's got a decently heavy hand or a head on it. Looks like it's been painted. Looks nice. I mean, it's razor, absolutely razor sharp. I already know. I felt the, the edge on it. It's bloody sharp, I tell you that. Price. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a good purchase on it. It's really head heavy, so I mean, it's going to be a chopper, man. There's no doubt about that. As far as like things that you've seen thus far in like yeah. the under forty dollar range. Well, the under $40 range, you're not going to be able to beat this probably. The only thing I don't like, which should be fixed, is this. There's no reason for that. That allows, that just it negates me choking up for, for carving tasks, things like that. It just it spreads my hands a little bit too far. I don't know. Have you tried to, tried to pull up on that? I, I don't like the hump on it either. But. Yeah. That could be, dude. I got a rasp in my uh, pack that we could kind of knock that out, and phew, that'd be awesome. You know, just take maybe half an inch right off of that right there, because it it kind of contours up and gets thinner as it gets up here. So it it would be good have a nice purchase up here if that hump wasn't there. Some but, people are asking about how it was affixed to the handle. Because they don't normally see, but it looks like it's got one of those little circular... It's got a circle wedge in it. It's painted, which they just put these axes together and then send them through a line and paint them. You know, probably a thousand at a time. But it's hard. I hope you can see that on camera. I can't tell if you can or not. But it has a metal circle wedge in it that pulls that apart, or pushes it apart, rather. Yeah, there's no wobble on it whatsoever. I don't know. I haven't put it in any wood yet. If you know, I can't feel a wobble, but you'll know it once you sink it. You'll feel that wobble. Well, the couple couple times I took a couple of test wax with it, I didn't notice anything. Right. Well, let's go chop something with it. All right. Well, we're gonna do a little comparison here, and I got my Wetterlings, and uh, just kind of a, a note to the Wetterlings is my wife destroyed my axe. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that yet or not on camera. Thanks, but come up a little bit. Just a note, if you're at work, hide your, hide your stuff or your wife will use it to bust kitchen cabinets and hit us through. 
<laughs> so I haven't got a chance to to get that out of there yet, but it still works fine. No big deal. So this kind of definitely want secure footing. We're gonna we're gonna do this one first, and then we're going to compare the cold steel to it. Right. And I've already been started on this before Chris had the idea of doing this, but it's just too wax. The handle's a little bit shorter than the Wetterlings. Yeah, probably about two, two and a half inches shorter. But it still has a good weight. I'd say I like my Wetterlings handle a little bit better. Well, probably a lot better. But let's see what it does. It has a lot better bite on it, but it's also not jacked up like mine. Not making excuses, but definitely seems to be doing a better job. But like I said, this one's a lot sharper right now. You got one that was sharpened by Bryce, and you got one that was destroyed by Megan. So, <laughs> what are you gonna do? You gotta love them. You can't ship them to Canada. Kind of do a side by side, here, brother. Then you can use. <laughs> try the serrated. Wow, this thing's like way lighter. Way lighter. I yeah. forgot how light this was. Yeah. That's that's a heavy, that other axe is a pretty heavy one. That's a pack axe, you know, a long pack axe. They both feel pretty good. I like that handle on that Wellings a lot better, man. But it's a hundred twenty dollar axe. I don't like the. Sh the sharpness of the wetter wings handle. That's for, for coming up on it a little further. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel as comfortable to me. Yeah. But, try this one again. I mean, this feels like it can do some work, but it's not going to wear you out like that X15. Well, that thing's, yeah, that thing's well, pretty small. Well, it's a much bigger, much bigger axe. Now, I'm going to get my BK9 out and finish this off. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to grab my lightsaber. So, I said this is uh, one of the one bigger ones that I've got so far. As I'm trying out these different axes and learning how to use them and stuff like that and reading that axe book. But, I like this. I wouldn't want to have to sit here and chop through something like this, but I guess if you had to. Well, it's kind of hard to pack a chainsaw. Yeah. And I need this piece of wood for my shelter. Well, actually, I got a chainsaw right here in my oh, knife sheath. Oh, God, dude, get out of here with that thing. Hey, that thing works. Really? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah, any of the ones I've used are just crap. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll finish it off with this. Go so. ahead. <laughs> how much now we're shifting to a whole nother thing
This is exactly like the UST saber cut. Probably made in the same freaking factory. Gotta get it started. That thing looks like it's chewing pretty good. I mean, it's chewing, dude. It's chewing pretty good. Here, try it out. Yeah, it's better than any of the ones that I've seen. Oh, yeah, that, that doesn't seem nice. to be doing pretty well. So we've taken an axe video and turned it into a pocket chainsaw video. This workout. <laughs> yeah, it'll wear you out pretty quick. Won't it? Yeah, it actually, uh, I'm kind of impressed with that. It's a lot better than any of those. Let me move this over. <coughs> just, just kind of compare how much work it is to do it with this as opposed to going through it with a perfectly good axe. It's like you're almost through it. Yeah. got this thing in a pouch on my Tahoma field knife sheath now. Okay, it's pinched. Let me do it. It's pinched. Pause this. Yeah, we had to go off camera and hit it with the axe a couple times because we got pinched, but what'd you think of the little pocket chainsaw? It's better than the other ones that I've seen. I mean, as long as I've seen a very cheap chump seed, this don't work at all. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than what I would normally go after with this thing, but you know, you get tired of chopping or something, or something happens, it just gives you another option. Did the job, that's for sure. So, anyway, I'm not going to show you 5,000 hours of chopping. Got a lot of different things to test out here, but I'll just keep using this as I see opportunities. I got other hatchets and other things I got to test as far as being on camera. But I'm going to continue using this as time goes on through the spring and summer. So definitely will keep you updated as to my thoughts. So far, I'm very happy with this. I think it's a, it's a good chopper. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath because I just chopped through a couple more uh, branches and stuff off camera. But so far, I think for the money that they want for this thing, I think it's a it's a dang good bargain. A, uh, it varies. Uh, it's it's around the ballpark of thirty-five to thirty-nine bucks. But like I said it's pretty good balance. It's it doesn't feel heavy to me until I pick up Will's axe. Then it feels heavy. So Will's is like really really light. Uh, surprisingly light. I know in that video originally I thought that, but when I got this, I'm like, well, that's pretty close to Will's, but no, this is actually heavier. But it doesn't feel bad chopping with it all. Uh, even to an axe noob like myself, it feels pretty natural. So I'm going to keep working with this and testing it out and let you know what I think. But my initial impressions is I think it's a great axe. I think it's good bargain and I would like to hear feedback from other people that have used this uh, any anything that they've got that they want to add as far as their experiences I haven't seen much negative reviews on this so that's that I got nothing else to add <laughs> Chris from prepare my 101 thanks for watching be sure you click uh, like and subscribe and share and all that stuff 
Uh, it's just a first impressions vid. We'll keep working with this as time goes on. What's that? Manus Outdoors. Oh, yeah. Will's out here. Manus Outdoors. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe to his channel. You can find his channel uh, in the description box and also on my front page under recommended channels. Other than that, be back with some more videos here later. Thanks, guys.